Boys and girls, morning guys. Morning. Back out again with the old Gazza boy. Uh, we've come to this location today. It's not that far from me. It's called Akara Lagoons. Uh, you'll get a better look of it as we go around. Um, it was dug out by hand in the 1880s um, for the sand that was here um, that they used to create Harvey Bay. Um, so it's got good potential, it's got possibilities and it's got us detecting it. So <laughs> let's see if we can find anything decent. <laughs> see you on the first good target, guys. Well, this is the third target I've had. Um, the other one was a ring pole and a bit of lead. But this one sounds quite promising. It's either a nugget or a, ring, or a bottle top. I'm hoping, by the sound of it so clearly, that it possibly could be a nugget. Ah, oh, nah. There we go. The blight of the Australian metal detectorist, Jack Bloody Daniels. <laughs> they just sound up too, they sound too good like bloody dollar coins. Right, second attempt. This is a slightly lower number. This could possibly be a two dollar coin. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> Jack Daniels. Well, if I ever catch that man, that made them bloody bottle tops to sound exactly like dollar coins. I'll string him up. <laughs> uh -huh. And I think there we do. We have our first very cruddy been in the ground a long time which is a very good sign that means that no one's really been around here much two dollar nugget very nice fourth target got a nugget Just give you a view of what we're looking at today it's absolutely beautiful here Akara lagoons it's just incredible to think that all of this was dug out in the 1880s by hand um, to use as um, construction material down in the, in the bay. It's just phenomenal really. I mean, how many men, how many wheelbarrows, how many shovels. They wouldn't have had any mechanical diggers or anything back then. So it's just a, another wonderful feat of human engineering. Just to, And then to leave it stunning like this is just beautiful for everyone to enjoy. So, yep, anyway, let's see if we can find someone else, so we'll uh, plod on. I film this one live, I just thought it was another coin, another 20 cent coin, but actually it's a bucket list for me. It's a New Zealand 20 cent coin. I've never found one of them before. 1976, I was born in 1973. So yeah, that's not... A bad point. That's a pocket lister. I know it's only a 20 cent coin, but still, it goes to my collection because I haven't found one of them before, so pretty cool. Well, that place turned out to be an absolute bust. Guys, I got two bucks and five cents. I got two bucks and a 20 cent coin from New Zealand. I'm just walking back, just asking him as I approach the car what he got. And I just got a beep here, so and it could be, it could be, it could be another dollar. Let's have a look. But with that pesky bottle tops, it could be one of them because that's the way it seems to be this morning. There somewhere. Well, it came right down. Nah, it's too. Bloody Jack Daniels! <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, that's finished us at this place. We'll think of something else. <laughs> just popped down to this old park. Uh, I'm gonna give this a little spin. 
probably won't take us that long. We'll see if we can get any, any uh, decent targets up place that we had before. There's just nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. Anyway, that's the way, that's the, way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So let's see if we can uh, turn it around. Oh, it's really hard. Hi. I was talking to the video. It's really hard to do uh, live pigs at this place. Um, there's so much iron in the ground and yeah, you're getting good signals but majority is of that variety as you can see, copper lumps and bumps and so yeah, live digging is quite difficult at the moment That sounded really good. Well, we just got permission to do a little scrape off area. And guys just came up with this lovely little coin here. It's a foreign coin. We don't know where it is, where it's from. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's a hundred something from 1992. Oh, it's really cool. I thought it was a gold coin because it rang up really low. But yeah, what a, what a stunning coin. That's a nice one to add to his collection. Beautiful. Well, it's really hard. Hi. I was just talking to the, the video. It's really hard to do uh, live pigs at this place. Um, there's so much iron in the ground. And yeah, you're getting good signals. But majority is of that variety. As you can see, copper lumps and bumps and so yeah live digging is quite difficult at the moment that sounded really good anyway we'll persevere yeah. well just pulled up a little strip 1947 we'll make it a king george the six was hiding in a lot of iron i had gas go over it again but with his um discrimination on he couldn't hear anything so there was eye bouncing around, that's the problem with this place, it's just full of, well, two houses that have been put, knocked down, so you understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, this is a 1947, I think, I do believe it, that's only 50% silver, so. But it's still, it's just silver, even though it's a small one, and I'm really happy with it. Well, I didn't even have to dig for this one. It's right there, right on the surface. a little I don't know what it is to be honest it's a bit damp I think it's just a roof penny oh that looks a bit green I think it's a lizard before the look of it to be truthful yeah I think that looks like a lizard so give a bit of a rub I'll let it dry off and have a good look in the car a bit later on, but it's probably just a lizzy root penny. Some bake in there. <laughs> you can even see the impression of just where it was lying. Oh, it's just, just crumbled there. Cool. <laughs> well, I've just got down to this target that I was uh, looking at. The trouble that I'm really having at the moment is I've got the 11 inch coil on the ultra and I didn't bring the, the legend with the little six inch coil and the place is that iron infested I'm finding it really difficult to pin, pin down targets but if you can look in this hole here I've got down to this point so it's semi live all it means I've got to do is pick it out and I'm absolutely hoping that it is some kind of coin and yeah, I think it is some kind of coin. What flavour is it? That to me looks like another rue penny. It's in nice condition. What year? Oh, that side's a bit more. Uh, Corroded, but that'll clean up. That'll clean up. It's George the fifth, uh, six, sorry. So yeah, it's another penny. 
But I'll tell you something, I'm homing in my skills on this Ultra. My <laughs> gas just threw me this. <laughs> oh, what a shocker. That actually looks like the front of a watch, Kaz. Yeah. yeah. But again, I've got another target down deep in this hole. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting until I get down to him, see what the pinpointer tells me what it is, instead of just showing you uh, from start to finish and wasting a lot of time. And I think we have found ourselves another penny. Another one that's very green, guys. Mm. But yeah, this is definitely a little hot spot around here, eh? Yeah. Again, I'll have to let that one dry up. That could possibly be a little bit older, but it's green like that, but I can't really tell at the moment. We'll have a proper look at the roundup anyway, so yep. Zoning in on them now. <laughs> well, I thought I'd just found a gold coin. <laughs> but it's a 1960s reference now. So that makes it um, Queen Elizabeth. So, yeah, she hasn't fared too well in the ground. But when she came out, she looked really gold. We were like, bloody hell, God. found <laughs> a gold coin. Anyway. That's not bad. Takes Gaz to find one now. Well, Gaz has just brought this over to me. How cool is that? It's what we call trench art, I think. And they've made a penny into um, a slouch chat what the uh, Australian soldiers wear. So that's either been done and given as a gift or actually been done in the trenches back in the, back in the war. So we won't ever know, really, unless you get the date off it. I suppose you could get the date off it, but it's just a cool, cool item. That's a really good find, guys. Yeah. What else did you say you got? <laughs> a little money clip. <laughs> yeah, what? but it's not, it's not, it's just... I don't know what it is. What's all them in it? They come out, eh? Yeah. No, they didn't come out. Yeah, they will. they got a screw in it. Look. Yeah. Oh, I'll put my glasses on and have a bit of a look at it, give so it a bottle. it was a brooch because they got a little thing yeah, there. Yeah, they off. wore around their neck, look. Yeah. yeah. Let me have a closer look at this and see what we would get. That's quite interesting, that is. <laughs> well, again, I've got down to the point of revealing whatever was in the hole. And it's right there. And to me, it looks like another coin. So, let's get it out and retrieve it. Make sure you focus. There you go, should be better. Uh, oh, is that the imprint? Or is it another coin? Oh wow, there's a little spill here. Hee <laughs> hee hee, lovely. Right, what have we got? What have we got? The green again here, how are you? Oh, well, that's a little Commonwealth. I can see that clearly. Toasted on the back, but the pen is nice. Uh, well, oh, it's a half penny, half penny. 1928, that one. What's this one? Oh, look at that, guys. This is even older. This is a Britannia penny. Yeah, yeah, it's a young bonnet. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my word. Can I get a date? I've got my glasses on. Can I get a date? There's a Britannia sat right there. I'm trying to get a date for you. Oh, I can't really see. Oh, 1890. I can't really see. I'll have to get guys to have a proper look. Wow, yes. Some what a spill. A little bonnet and a 1928 coin. Nothing else down there. Oh! Oh, there's someone else down there, but Pinpoint doesn't like it very much. Let's see what we've got. 
over here. Move them. What's that? Oh, no way! It's a bloody Lord of Serpents! It's George the Fifth. Oh, you beauty, what a spell! What? I've got a really good coin spell, guys. I got a King George Threepence, 1928 Commie, and a and a and a Vicky Bunhead. Hold on, might be someone else. Nah, that pinpoint so was going like horrible. On. I didn't even know the six points was underneath them all. Oh, sorry, the three points. Yeah, I'll give guys a look. Absolutely stoked with that one. So again, we're just wandering around, just have to look in at Gary's uh, finds and put the detector down and came up with this little beauty. Whatever this one's going to be sitting on the surface. Yeah, that one's all caked up, that one is. Again, I'm not too sure what that one is. It's a bit warm and toasted, but uh, we'll give it a rubber dub dub when we get back to the cart. And we'll see what uh, what flavour that one is. We'll see if it's fine. We need to come down from that scrape off. We've done pretty well, eh, guys? Done pretty good. Done pretty good in there. But um, fancied a bit of a mix-up, so we've come back down by the ocean. Uh, Gaz likes these little places, he likes the old uh, footpaths and stuff. So we're going to just wind our, our way down, just have a little bit of a hunt around here and just chill out a bit. So the finds are already in the bag at the moment, we think I'm on triple silver. Gaz has got some beautiful finds and uh, some absolute, yeah, he's got some absolute ripper finds. So. We, we can just relax now and just have fun. So, yep, let's carry on. <laughs> I found the daddy of the sinkers. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. <laughs> well, excuse the hopping and puffing, guys. But I don't know if you can see that hole. <laughs> I've got something in the bottom of there. I've had to dig through roots and really get down to it. But I think I finally onto it, it's good pinpoint of depth, eh? I think I'm onto it at last. But boy, it's deep. There's something there. What's this? What's this? Nothing yet. Right down to the. Oh! Yes! Yeah, guys! Oh. Far right. Chili. Oh, yeah. I haven't got a clue up. I'm about to go right the way down there, man. Through the roots yeah. and everything. Hold on, guys, have a look at it. Oh. Yeah. Well, you, my detector hates yours. Oh. Sorry guys about the hopping and puffing, like I said, that was some digging. That's... 1910. 1910. What is it, an Eddie? No, it's to George V. Oh, oh wow. What would that come up as? Put it down there. Yeah. We'll see if there's anything else in there. Whew. 30. 30 on yours. 
We'll see if there's anything else down there. I've had a nice coin spill already today, so. Oh my God, guys, there's someone else down there, man. Huh? huh? Have you got your shovel with you? What? Have you got your shovel with you? No. I don't know how deep I can get with a digger. Uh, there could be another one down there, eh? Uh, oh no, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. It can. Who was on top of that? Huh. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Still some of there. No, it's not. Oh. Up in the top, like. Oh. Turn that off. Oh, I'm out of breath. But uh, that was worth it. A shilling on top of that deep we can. Absolutely fantastic way to end. Oh, I'm out of breath. Right, so me and Gaz has gone over this hole. We're using the Ultra and in with his Nox, but only using a little six inch coil. And he said that he couldn't hear it. Um, I pinpointed it and we got down to this deep depth again. Look, I'll just turn this off a minute. So again, pin, pin, pin points are deep and we're not quite there yet. It has actually started to show a little bit of iron in the, in the hole, look. You can hear the pin pointer. But it also was giving me that little ping, like it was with the shilling. Just giving me that little bit of hope that there was someone else in there. It just coming through, so we get this out. See if there's anything in there. Well, we're out the hole. There is something there, guys. Going. Half penny. A really toasted little commie. But wow. Yeah, okay, it's only that sandy soil, but maybe he's got his settings on wrong or something like that. He's been on about that today. He thinks that there's something wrong with it. That's why we've just been doing these little tests. But yeah. That ultra, I can't knock it at all, eh? He can, he can, okay, it was a tiny little whisper and just the faintest of, 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 of tones that alerted me to it. But it, it produced the goods, it, it, it found it again. You know what I mean? What more do you need? It's just, you know, Without the complications, without the effort, without having to do all these settings and this, that and all that, just turn it on, ground balance it and find coins nine inches deep, ten inches deep. You can't go wrong, can you? That's me and Gazza done for another week. We didn't do too bad again, did we Gazza boy? Always seem to pull me up. Always seem to come <laughs> up with the goods. We like we go out with hardly any plans. Let's just see what happens. Um, yeah, we just end up having good days, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. We snip them out. Anyway, let's do the obligatory roundup in the car, and as usual, let's go over to Gaz. What you got, Gaz? A couple of brown ones, a bit of a bangle, some small change, one goldie today. Got this little penny. Been made into a light, it was like a badge or something. It's like a, a slouch chart, yeah, an Australian yeah. army slouch chart. They make it into a yeah. good trench chart, yeah. but uh, that might have been made later on. There are three kangaroo pennies, some little badge thingy. Yep, the little kookaburra or something like that. State Fours, Queensland, PA 1987. There's a name on the back. Um, I can't read it. No. 1987. But if you know, if you know uh, 
a signature. <laughs> I'll tell him we've got his badge. <laughs> I've got a couple of foreign coins. One's, uh, I'm not sure. It's a British two pence, uh, two pence coin, guys. I know yeah. them very well. Yeah, I used to get them for my pocket money. <laughs> Back in the day, that's about 1980, something like that. Hmm. Made a solid cop out with a rang up, absolutely beautiful. I've got this thing here, eh? It looks like it was a roll of coins or something. I thought so when I saw that. Yeah, but nah, it's just a latch or something. Yeah. But the find of the day for me was that. I think it's um, German. No, it's think? Greek. Greek? Greek uh, drachma. Oh, yeah. So, a hundred Greek drachma. Hmm. We Google searched it, and the first one that came up was either four and a half grand. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, gathers it, gathers it, the jackpot. <laughs> but it was an eBay one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when they stick on loads of money for, <laughs> for the suckers to buy. But still, it's a beautiful coin. I thought it was gold when I first saw it. Yeah, I thought, so do I. I thought, bloody hell. And then I thought, no, he's found a, um, a bullet, King George mm -hmm. III, the way it looked, until I saw the foreign writing. But it, as a coin, it's bloody beautiful. Mm. I want to find out who the god is, because it would be a Greek god or something like that. Anyway, let's go over to my side, see what we got today, Stevie boy. Okay, that thing there on the left, it just tells me it's a bit of an old razor blade. I didn't really know what that was and I dug it up, but he said, yeah, that's probably what it is. Bit of a bullet, bit of a copper beating, four boxing nuggets, absolutely wasted. A uh, couple of marbles, a couple of keys, little doodad. Don't know if that's some kind of button or something, I'm not sure. Um, some Maori design. It's not precious metal or anything like that. Um, would have been some kind of little pendant or something, I suppose. Um, as for the three decimals, I've got one, two pennies, one, two, three, four, five half pennies, uh, brown bugger, the daddy in, of all daddy sinkers, legendary, he's going to be in the legendary Hall of Fame, he is. <laughs> <laughs> little bit, bit of a snooker ball, number four, and silvers for the day. I got a 1947, 1960, and I can't tell what that is. 1929 or something, is it? Something like or that. Or 1920, yeah. threepence. So, and then yeah, best one I just found there underneath all them roots. So I had to. I'm still half panting as I'm talking now. <laughs> um, yeah, the shilling, uh, King George the Sixth, uh, sorry, fifth, 1916 shilling. So, not a bad day, guys. Yeah, pretty good. Not a bad day at all. Always seem to drag him out of the ground. Yep. What will we up to next week? Any ideas? We might go and do the ring recovery if we can. Yeah, hopefully. The rain has been really bad lately and it's just been blocking us from going to places we really want to go. That's why, you know, we just winging it at the moment just kind of places where we think there might be uh something there and yeah it's paying off for us so i don't mind winging it but bringing in the goods that's the way it is yeah <laughs> anyway if you made it this far thanks again for watching um and yeah all that leaves me to say is happy hunting out there guys and i'll see you next time we're out and about until next time